Man, what a beautiful day for a ride. Just gotta check a couple things on my bike and we're gonna be good to go. Let's go throw this off to the side. Now what does my gear look like? Get rid of this hat. Get my helmet on. Oh good, my head hasn't grown. Knee pad. Ooh, should have washed that. Good call. Rubber ducky. One glove. Two, two. No, no two gloves. Okay. And my trusty camel pack. Oh no, is that water? No. Oh, don't do it. Don't you, don't you do it. Told you not to do it. Hey guys, Austin with Getaway Adventures here with a quick tip on how to clean your camel back after a long winter. Uh, cultivating something you definitely don't want in there. When you leave water, hydration mix, stuff like that in your camelback, it's going to tend to mold over time. You'll get it in the tube. It's really hard to get out. Uh, you know, you can try one of these, but the tube is longer than this, so I'm going to show you how you can modify this to run it through the tube. It's just a little bit of a trick and uh, get you back on the trail a little bit faster. Let's get after it. First thing you're going to want to do, obviously, get the bladder out of your camelback. Kind of a given, I know. Go ahead and take that bad girl out. Oh yeah, look at that. That is just nasty. Oh, that is horrible. Go ahead. Um, if you have a quick release, like the Usway bags, get a quick release, get your hose, your bladder separate. Go ahead and get rid of your camelback. Get your bucket. You can do it in the sink, in your kitchen, wherever. You're going to pop the nozzle off so your hose is just empty clear. Go ahead, dump your camel back, get all that nasty stuff out of there. Once that's dumped out, go ahead, get it in your uh, nice soapy water. Go ahead and let it soak for a minute. Now the camel back's easy because you can kind of flip it inside out. Go ahead and grab it, pull it out, rinse it around, get it all nice and washed up. I like to use like a Dawn dish soap. Um, I can't recommend using anything stronger, i.e. bleach. And then the fun part begins with your hose. You're gonna take your, you're gonna take your good old pipe cleaner. See how this one's threaded on the end? That's important. I'm gonna go ahead and take our pliers. Bring it to a size that we know is going to fit. Look at that. Through there, right? Because see how it's a tight fit on this side? That's so far zoomed out. I like to use fishing line. Um, you can use anything. You could use rope. Uh, just keep in mind that the larger the thing becomes, the more likely it is to get caught and not want to go through. I'm go ahead and take this. I'm just going to try to work it through. We've got it all the way through. I actually used running water to get the fishing line to go through the hose. It worked a charm. I'm going to take it. Get it in there, get it all nice and soaked up, and then we're just gonna pull it through. And just pull it on through. Look at that, we're getting all the parts that you can't reach. Boom. What used to be gross and mildewy is all gone. So I'm gonna go ahead, I'm still gonna bleach it. I really just wanted to get that chunk out of there. And get it all cleaned up, let it soak, make sure it's nice and clean, and then we're ready for the trail. If you guys have questions on more, if you guys want to see something else, comment below. And uh, we'll see you next time. Make sure you get out and adventure. See ya.